Big Gamer Al here. How are you guys doing today? I'm super. Thanks for asking. So today guys, I want to bring you a review of Dead Alliance. So this is a game that's available on Xbox One, PS4, PC and Apple devices. In the UK, this is currently retailing for about £25 to £30 and in the US about £30 to £40. Bucks. Interestingly, the game can be bought as multiplayer only digitally, but you can also buy the game physically and it will include single player content like single player horde modes and multiplayer bot matches. The game is in essence a FPS multiplayer shooter, with the twist being that you have to navigate maps full of the undead. Now it does have about half a dozen different game modes, usuals like free for all, team deathmatch, capture the flag, point capture modes and the like. Technically the game is quite rough with some fairly run of the mill character models, basic texture work which suffers with a lot of pop in and some poor optimization, causing some hitching and strain on the consoles where there really shouldn't be any with a game that doesn't look as good as it could. Gameplay is made quite interesting by the fact you're able to use the zombies to your advantage and weaponize them against the enemy teams. But to be honest, the controls feel quite sticky and need quite a bit of customization inside the menus to make it feel better. And there are some server issues for the multiplayer and this can cause quite a bit of lag inside matches or maybe some extended wait times when you're actually in matchmaking waiting for a game. So all in all, I think Dead Alliance is an entertaining concept, but it only occasionally capitalizes on this during the gameplay with some poor execution along the way. This is really, even at its lower price tag, it's not a terrible game, but it's certainly not setting the world alight. I'd actually give this game a five out of 10. I would probably say, as far as a buyer's guide goes, wait for it to go on Steam sale or an Xbox Live sale. Thanks for sticking with me today guys. If you found this review informative or helpful in any way, feel free to like, comment and subscribe and I'll keep bringing you the content. Cheers.